OK, so we're going to solve this functional equation problem where we've got two real valued functions, f and g, which satisfy this equation for all real values of x and y. But instead of trying to solve to find f or g themselves, we're trying to solve to find g of f of x plus y. So to get started on this problem, we'll take our original functional equation and we'll see what information we can extract just about the function f to begin with. So at the moment we've got the function g inside there as well, but we can get rid of this dependence on g just by setting x equal to some arbitrary value. So let's say x equals 0. If we substitute this in, we're going to get on the left hand side f of g of 0 plus y equals, we've just got 0 plus 2y plus 3, so just 2y plus 3. And this is useful now because g of 0 is just a constant, so we could actually replace our y here by y minus g of 0, and similarly we'll replace this y by y minus g of 0, substituting in there. So this will give us on the left hand side f of g0 plus y minus g0. So you can see there the two g0s cancel, which is the point of replacing y by y minus g0. Then on the left hand side we've got 2 times y minus g0 in brackets plus 3. So this gives us on the left hand side then f of y is equal to then expanding the brackets 2y minus 2 times g0 plus 3. So this is really cool. We've managed to find almost what the function f is. So f of y is 2y plus or minus some constant. And we can actually use this fact now alongside our original equation. So if we now replace, let's replace the y here by g of x plus y. So then we go back to on the left hand side we'll have f of g of x plus y again. And we know now replacing y by g of x plus y we get 2 times g of x plus y minus 2 g0 plus 3 is equal to f of g of x plus y. And the reason we've done this is that we know f of g of x plus y is also equal to this nicer expression, so this is equal to x plus 2y plus 3. And we can see here now expanding the brackets we get 2 times g of x plus 2y minus 2 g0 plus 3. And this is really nice now because we've got 2y plus 3 and 2y plus 3 all cancel with each other. So then we can get g of x on its own here. So we need to add 2g0 to both sides. We get x plus 2 times g0. Then just dividing through by 2 then we get this is going to be equal to g of x. So we've now actually managed to find a nice expression for g of x there up to this constant term. So g of x is going to be x over 2 plus or minus some constant, and f of y is 2y, again, plus or minus some constant. And now remember that we're trying to actually find g of f of x plus y to solve the problem. So at this point we could replace this x here by f of x plus y, and we'd have to replace this x as well. So we can just substitute in now f of x plus y in place of our x. So this gives us on the left hand side g of f of x plus y, what we're trying to find is now f of x plus y plus 2 times g of 0, all divided by 2. And now we can replace this f of x using our known expression for f of y there. So just to make this really clear, if we replace y by x here, we're going to get f of x equals 2x minus 2 times g of 0 plus 3. So then we can substitute this in in place of this f of x here and we're going to get 2x minus 2g of 0 plus 3, then we've still got this plus y and plus 2 times g of 0, and this is all still being divided through by 2. And this is really nice because at this point the negative 2g0 and the positive 2g0 cancel out. So we're left with then a unique answer to this problem. We have 2x, we'll write plus y plus 3, just putting them in that order, all divided by 2, then this is equal to g of f of x plus y, which is what we were trying to find. So I think this is really nice that when we do the calculations here, our g zeros cancel, so this constant term cancels out. So even though we don't know what the functions f and g are, they're not uniquely defined, they're only defined up to a constant, this answer to the problem g of f of x plus y is uniquely defined because the constant terms cancel there. 